Another week, another recap here at Tea Geekdom. Join us as we go over the past events from the sci-fi show, Krypton. With that being said, we present to you Episode 4, The Word of Rao. And of course, spoilers. We start off with the voice of Rao, who decrees that the dome covering the whole city is peeling back, letting the sun shine through. Rao uses this to justify his position as a deity. Meanwhile, back in the communications room that Rom was caught in, we see three members of Black Zero disguising themselves as Sagittari. They're looking for Brainiac Sentry. Now we see Rom still unconscious and not doing very well. Rao visits the Rankless as they are in an uproar because of the recent murder. He sees this as an opportunity to appease them. Also, Rao orders the arrest of Lyda on treason charges. She's charged with conspiring with Black Zero when she arrests the Sagittari who killed an unarmed Rankless. Lyda will be the scapegoat to return peace to Krypton. After hearing about Lyda's arrest, Seg goes to Nisa to ask her if she can pull some strings and get the charges dropped. To do this, he has to admit his love for Lyda. Probably not an easy conversation to have with your fiancé, but surprise, she already knew. On his way back to the fortress to pick up Rom's body and give her to the council as evidence in Lyda's defense, Seg's taken captive by Black Zero. He's knocked out, then abducted. Here in an underground base, Black Zero is preparing to put a creepy crawly bug inside Seg's body. Wait for it, and here it goes. Meanwhile, Nisa goes to Lyda's holding cell and offers up her services to help defend her. She's there because Seg asked her to, so this is curiously generous of her, but we're sure she has ulterior motives. Then we see Seg joined by this guy. He is the leader of Black Zero. Oh, and the bug up the nose trick was a test to see if Seg was a sentry or not. Seems the little bug can sniff them out. Seg wasn't, so he lived. Now this guy wants Seg to tell him everything he knows about Brainiac. Only thing is, this guy is not Black Zero, but only using their manpower and resources in the service of Kandor. He wants to overthrow the voice of Rao and save Krypton from Brainiac, but he's also got a temper. So when one of the Black Zero members zaps Seg with a prod, he snaps his neck. He wants to find the sentry, Rom, rip her open, and destroy the sentry within her. After hearing Lyda's side of the story, Nisa confronts her father, who is the one who falsified testimony and rigged the case against Lyda. Nisa is concerned that if Lyda dies, Seg will be so distraught he won't be able to unite Kandor, allowing Nisa and her father to assume complete control. Nisa is obviously not the quiet little daddy's girl after all. It seems everyone wants to overthrow the voice of Rao. So this guy wants Seg's help. After that display of mercilessness, Seg wants him to prove that he'll be honorable by breaking Lyda out of prison, and he agrees. Kem took it upon himself to look after Anna, Rom's child. She wanted to give Rao an offering in her mother's name during the God's Grand Parade in Kandor. So as any orphan would do in this scenario, she ran right up to him and gave her the statue that her mother gave her. As a reward for her courageous display of piety, Anna is given rank by Rao and initiated into the guild as a novice, yet another move to appease the rankless. Back in the Fortress of Solitude for a brief moment, Rom wakes up and warns Adam that Anna must be stopped, but stopped from what? She then passes away. One of the Black Zero members unshackles Seg, who returns the favor by zapping her unconscious and putting one of those bugs in her mouth. He then takes her gun and escapes. Nisa goes to Jaina to offer her a deal. If Jaina gives her and her father full allegiance, then she'll get the charges against Lyda dropped. Nisa and Darren are planning to unite the guilds against Rao once and for all. This doesn't sit well with Jaina, however, who states she will never help them. Oh, and that offering the sweet little innocent Anna gave Rao, well, it was hiding another one of Brainiac's entries inside it, and it takes over Rao's body. Lastly, Seg makes it to the surface and finds that it's in the middle of the outlands of Krypton, and it's a long walk home. Well, what did you guys think? Are you liking Krypton? Please let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Tea Geekdom. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.